For this next series of drawings, I'm going to focus on proportion. So proportion is the size of it. So we have to make sure that the width, right, is believable with the height of the can. And so there's a number of ways that we can do this. One thing we can do is we can visually measure. If I have right back far enough, right, I can extend my arm straight out. So my arm is coming straight out from my body, right? It's not tilted up and down, it's parallel out. Let me see if I can actually get you to see what I'm doing here, right? So my arm is straight out, not up, not down, straight out. And then my pencil, my pencil, sorry about all of your camera angles here, <laughs> right? My pencil is straight. And what I can do is I can hold out and measure and say that um, for, this is the height of it, right? I put my finger, I put the top of the pencil at the top of the can and the bottom of my fingers go to the bottom of it, right? And then I compare it to the width. So the width of it, and you can't see exactly from my angle, is about two thirds of the way. So I could say, okay, the can, right? I actually could kind of go in here and go, okay, the can is this tall, right? So I kind of have some tick marks. I could take a ruler and measure it and go, okay, the can is like four inches, four and a half inches tall. I could do like a line of symmetry if I wanted to. And then I could go in, once again, still with that loose marks, right? I could go in and I said that for as high as it is, it's about a third, right? So I could take my fingers and measure the width and I could put like little marks there that says, okay, that's how wide my can has to be. So then I can go in and make sure that I'm drawing in proportion. So we wanna compare the width to the height. We don't want the can to look like it's fat or short or too skinny. So we can do that with a lot of different things, right? We could use this bowl as an example as well, right? We think about how tall it is, right, compared to how wide it is. So this one is wider than it is tall. So I could say that it's about seven, a little under seven inches wide. I'll go like six and a half, which means that the half of that is like and a quarter, right? I could bring a line of symmetry down there if I wanted to. And then if I compare the width to it, I could visually do this by holding this out. Okay. And I can go, okay, so the bottom of this bowl like cricket straighten this up okay the bottom of my bowl is kind of like this and I can use my lines of symmetry to kind of try to get the right angles so kind of like those basic shapes there And I can start to kind of put this in. So the lip of this kind of comes out. And it gets skinnier as it gets farther away. keep refining it, right? I can stay the same view. I don't want to keep changing my direction on it or I'm going to get all different kinds of angles here. 
So I keep refining and trying to make it look proportional. Okay, so I'm working on comparing width to height, width to height. 